welcome to this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth atipadio as young girl. this month's theme is my god who provides for me understanding our relationship with god cannot be complete without understanding God's ways in taking care of us and his true intentions for us on this earth. We may have had some misunderstandings or misconceptions about God's understanding of wealth, of riches, and of um, provision. But by the time we are done with this month's study, I hope that we have more clarity, more direction, and we are more in line with God's plans for us and the resources that he has trusted us with. Hello. So today we'll be reading from the book of Genesis. Yes, from the very first book in the Bible. I want us to look at the original provision God made in the Garden of Eden. But before we go there, um, I'd like you to come with an open mind to this particular um, series of teaching on God providing for us because it's one of the most difficult areas to change your ways or the most difficult areas to accept a different thought because uh, for some people like that aspect can make or break their life it's like oh maybe they'll change from rich to poor overnight <laughs> but trust God and he's leading okay um genesis chapter 1 from verse 27 to 31 so god created human beings in his own image in the image of god he created them male and female he created them then god blessed them and said be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and govern it Rain over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth, and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given every green plant as food for all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, and the small animals that scurry along the ground, everything that has life. And that is what happened. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the sixth day. I hope you heard what I just read. (laughs) This is the... That's it. It's the the most straightforward, very clear, like passage in the Bible. This beginning, um, the account of creation, like from the beginning of the Bible. It's just very definitive. There's no hidden meaning, or it's just this is what happened. This is what God said. This is what it looked like. This is what He created. And we can see it here in the scripture, just instruction. See, I've given you this one as food. I've given this one as food. Just clear definitions, clear instructions. This is God's simplistic approach to providing for us. You're probably wondering, like, are we in the garden? Are we in the garden of Eden? What am I talking about? I have given you every, that is the key word, that would be the key sentence, the key phrase in this entire scripture today. 
I have given you every seed bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees. Where we make mistakes, where we make mistakes is when we hold resources in our account, in our house, in our parlor, in our compound as our resources and limit ourselves to those resources. That is where we make mistakes. Yes, you heard me correctly. Everything, everything on this earth, whether it is in your compound, it is in your account, it is in everything on this earth, belongs to God. And by extension, it belongs to me. Yes. The money in your account is my money. <laughs> it might sound funny, but we will, we will explore more on that. We will explore more on that. Let's just say, like, let's, today, let's just say, like, if Adam had gone to go and draw um, a square with his stick and say, you must not cross this line. This one is my own space. This tree that is here is made I'm going to eat it. You must not eat this one. This is the one that I'm going to eat. This one is for me. Go and look for your own elsewhere. You would have been limited to that small square that he had drawn. When God had given everything to them. When you need something, take it. When you need something, ask for it. When it's required that you assess a particular go for it there's no oh this one is for me and that one is for eve don't touch eve own this one is adam own that was not god's layout of the earth when he made it we have made it to be that way why else do you think it repeatedly told us in scriptures ask Why else do you think he clearly told us in scripture? It's because you have not asked that you have not received. Everything that God has made is at our disposal. Including those people that he made and the things these people that he made have made. Everything. I hope you'll be able to accept that even the resources that you claim are yours belongs to everybody too it's it might be very difficult opening up your mind to some of these things if you haven't accepted that fact before that these resources are not mine i'm just a steward everything i have belongs to god everything that is in my name belongs to god and I will use it as he instructs me to use it. If you submit yourself to that mindset, then you have access to everything that God has. Because you have identified yourself with him and with his plans in that area. If he tells you today to take that money, go and use it to pay for the rent of this particular you might never know them from anywhere and you just go and do it. That might be the last money in your hand. You've not seen where you have only 1,000 naira remaining and they tell you to go and give somebody to buy food. You've not yet eaten, but because right now you are not yet hungry. By the time you are hungry, you would have made provision for your own hunger. That is how God works. Just trust Him. We'll be seeing plenty of places in the scriptures and his approach to providing for people and taking care of his own. It says, it says in Psalm 23 that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. This is only true for those who recognize God as their shepherd. If God is your shepherd, a shepherd, you know who a shepherd is. These animals just follow blindly. They know they are shepherd. 
but they don't even know why they trust him so much but wherever he directs them to go they will go because he always cares for them he always finds them he always take care of them doesn't allow anything to hurt them doesn't allow anything to harm them god is our shepherd and remember throughout this series just remember that if i can acknowledge him as my shepherd at every point when he gives me instructions when he gives me directions there's nothing that oh it's my own it's not so if i acknowledge god as my shepherd i shall not want heavenly father king of glory we thank you for another day in your presence we thank you for this teaching series that we've started learning about your approach to providing for us your thoughts on resources and what you expect from us but as we are starting this journey we ask that you go with us you condition our mind we ask that you open our eyes to see you open our minds to understand these things that you are teaching us even as we explore deeper in your scriptures in this area that you will show us things that we haven't even seen before that you open our eyes to see your thoughts your intentions in our lives with regards to managing resources thank you heavenly father may your name be praised now and always in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen thank you for listening to today's podcast episode don't forget to share with as many people as you can have a nice day bye